Hey. Welcome back to the channel with my friend. It's Friday. It's Friday. And we are quietly in the lunchroom. Hopefully, no one bothers us. We're eating <laughs> Giordano's. Now, what did you order? We have the chicken sausage deluxe. Yum. And if you know, you know. I think Chicago pizza is the best pizza. Have you tasted any other pizza? Because you're, you're, yeah. you're yeah, originally well, from, from California. California. But the only pizza I used to eat in California was like um, Pizza Hut or this, uh, we had a nice Italian restaurant yeah. in my area. Pizza Hut ain't popping. So, but Pizza Hut got me through many nights. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, but Pizza Hut is not popping. It's not popping. Um, how is everybody doing this Friday? Yes. Um, Summer is in the middle. It's been a little dreary, on and off, raining here. Really sucks. So we're like looking forward to vacation. Yes, we are. She has one. Exactly. We booked yeah. one for her in New Orleans. It's gonna be on an adventure because she has a lot of people coming with her for her birthday, her 40. Don't Four. worry about it. <laughs> she said it. I said it. She said I'm it. Fine. I'm 44. Yes, I'm, old. I'm gonna, gonna be older. a 40, 44. And I have one with my sister in another week to Vegas alone. Yeah. Me and her alone. It's going to be an adventure. I'll probably take a little few snippets here and there of it. That's going to be fun. I'm a little jelly. I'm a little jelly. That one's going to be my I'll sister and me. My sister and me, we could get pretty wild. I have to have a salad with my pizza. I'm weird, yes. I got a little chopped salad. I don't eat pork, no bacon, and I'm allergic to, to raw tomatoes. So it's kind of the pizza sauce is gonna get your stomach kind of It'll itchy me. <laughs> It'll give you a little It'll itchy me and mess up my stomach, but it's good. It's, it's good, good when it goes down. Cheers. Nice and hot. Cheers, cheers, cheers. So with the vacation, I wanted to know, like you said, I'm having a big group coming. What is acceptable? Now, I decided not to have, like, straight, because there's certain people that have itineraries. Like, oh, wake up at this time. We're going to do this, this, and that. Da, 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 da. I don't think that works when you have, especially when you have a group. Not a big group. And a group that's not even a big group, because, well, my, well, I know my family. No, not with my family. <laughs> <laughs> you got certain, there's certain things that you'll, you know, want to have and put out there t that you want to do. But per se, as having an itinerary now, there's things that, like I personally want to do and see while I'm there because I've never been there. I've never been there either. I'm just in ready to enjoy the food and the culture and the fun. For sure, the food. Um, definitely the food. But like I, the only thing I did ask is that for since this is my birthday that we have brunch that morning or afternoonish because you know after we get in Friday from drinking whatever we wake up. Go brunch, then dinner that night. And if you can't make brunch, I understand, but dinner that night. If you don't make dinner, you better have made brunch. One or the other. And she made a theme. I always make a theme. So, yes. Which is kind of cool. I, I'm all down for following themes. Colors. Following. It's just like I like matching colors and, you know, just in the same, you know, like last year, I went and took uh, a group of my cousins, and we went um, horseback riding here. You know, and the and the and it was fun. You know, one of my cousins, and everybody came in boots and jeans and hats and things of that nature. It was cute. It was a cute. Yeah. And one of my cousins said, "I didn't get the memo." I said, "Gee, <laughs> you should have known." <laughs> horseback riding, Western style. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Have a nice weekend. You too. Bye. 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 Um, that was cute. Mm -hmm. I have a problem with her because she is a day after Mr. Jean Paul Cocat, my son. Oh, yeah. They share birthdays, birthday months, and super close. But I'm gonna spend time with my son, and then I, the Saturday I will be there for the brunch, which I appreciate. Quick and early, which, which is I gonna agree. be still fun because all we need is a few drunken nights. Yeah, <laughs> few drunken hours. <laughs> <laughs> with a nap in between <laughs> and then you regroup and then you regroup because yeah. I mean hydrate 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 you have to regroup mm -hmm. Thank you. 
They put more red crushed peppers than they did Parmesan oh, yeah. cheese. They always do the opposite of one or the other. Mm, you know, you recrust it. Like, can I get Parmesan? I mean, if you're going to throw red pepper flakes, shouldn't the Parmesan cheese be like together with it? You know? But I actually like this pizza. And, you know, I don't really care for mushrooms. Uh, yeah, I'm a mushroom. I'm a veggie person. Like, you know, if, My other if I don't like the look of it, I'll just take it out. Like this one, I don't like the look of it. It just don't look right to me. So I take it out. But I like a little, you know, it tastes good in pizza. I could ignore it. Five dollars would set this all off. <laughs> <laughs> um, so my thing is like, do you like vacation with people that have an itinerary? Or do you like to go with the flow? I like that you like to be organized, that's for sure. Um, you know, I never go with big groups. This is probably going to be like my first one. Um, my family is crazy. <laughs> but I've never really been organized like that. Because when you get organized and try to do it, it's difficult. I've been telling my family, I've been trying to tell my family to do a, tr a family trip, like all of us together, like one big, big, and just siblings, the six of us with our significant others and kids. That'll be at least like 22. And they're like, I don't know if we should do that. But we have to at least experience it once in our lifetime. You do. We did a uh, trip, and we only, it was only like, I want to say 40 something of us that went. <laughs> She's like, only 40 that something? Because that was just a minor of the cousins. Just a minor of the cousins. Yeah. So we went down to Belize, and it was a little, you know, a little rough and, and things, but it was, it was good. Yeah, because you, you're going to bump heads. Up, oh, everybody. Especially with your family members. We always, yeah, after a while, it was just like, yeah, da 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 da, you know. But I had told them I hadn't taken a vacation vacation. Like, I had time off. But I was always at staycation, you know, because I didn't get a chance to go away or anything. Uh -huh. And this is the first time I was going away with my kids and stuff for a long time or with work. And I told them, look, I'm like Kendrick Lamar on this trip. Pull up, drink, wake up, drink. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I was on. I was not on trying to cook, clean, and all this other stuff. Mm -mm. But hey, the weather had another thing coming to us, and we ended up having oh, a you category had, one hurricane. Yeah, you, were in a, you experienced a hurricane. <laughs> yes. So it was that interesting, and it bonded certain of our family together to, you know, the kids had more fun because they had no electronics. They had to just... Oh, they had to focus on... Focus on the things. But there was... Wow, my we kids had would some, die. We had... No, they had a good time, you know. Well, they will adjust, but after a while, mm -hmm. you know, you get that phone anxiety. Like, where's my phone at? Where's this? Where's this? Well, no, they were out there swimming, you know, things of that nature. So, it was not like was a scary? focus. At first, it was... Like, we laugh about it now. You know, it wasn't too bad. But there was no electricity. There was no running water. You know, it was a lot of stuff, but it came through. It was an exciting time. I loved it, you know. That's nice that you guys were able to do it. And we're we still have not been able to do it. Oh, well, then we had another trip where we went out to California to visit my sister. So we do family. We're trying to get do continue on our family trips. Which is very nice. My family needs to get it together because I'm all down for it. I'm not down for setting it up because I don't want to be the one to deal with people. It. I'm mm -hmm. not, you know, I don't have like lots of patience. I mean, I have a lot of time on my hands, but not a lot of patience. So I'll be the worst one to set it up. But I wouldn't mind just doing it, even if it's for like a Thanksgiving, like cabin, just drive all of us up there because we all are together for Thanksgiving, you something know, like that. Well, I don't know how because there's the um, place down in Florida I've been trying to tell my family. <laughs> oh, the all-inclusive one, right? Yeah, but no, I'm saying that they have um, a house. They have all these games, all this stuff that goes on. I think you can fit like fifty something people up in there. Oh yeah. And it's like a, I, I have to. It's like some cabin or not a cabin. It's like a, I just pop a, one of them wings in my mouth. Yes, please do. Thank you. So, yeah, it's just you know, I, and I don't have, I don't like to like stress anybody. I say I'm gonna do some. My biggest thing is like this is what I want to do. If you want to come, come. If you don't, don't. But it, it kind of turns out nice for you, right? Like, yeah, I just do what I'm going to do on my vacation. You don't want to come. It doesn't offend me. It doesn't bother me. You can go do your thing, you know. Yeah. I'm still going to do my thing. And don't feel obligated to do what I'm going to do because this is what I choose to do. Yeah. The, the only obligations, like I said, is the day lunch of and dinner because it's birthday. my birthday. <laughs> yeah, of your birthday, you have a little, like a little request, which is fine. And people came. If they booked the trip with you, then uh, obviously they want... 
to, to celebrate, celebrate with you. And I'm right. gone. She's she also is doing the a shirt, um, as well as a um, what is that thing? That swamp thing. The I want to do a swamp tour. Yeah, and that would be cool too. Because I mean, if you go to New Orleans, you got to experience like all of it. Hey, if I'm gonna eat the gator, I gotta go meet the gator. <laughs> I ain't eating no gator, but I'll go and meet him. <laughs> ain't nobody eating no gator. I, I heard frog him. legs are really good. My mom says they're great. I should just try one. Maybe I'll like it, but I don't know. I don't know about that. <laughs> My thing is always try something new. Especially also when you're out of town, go try and do something different than you would do mm -hmm. when you're at home. Yeah, because what's so the point? Right. We're supposed to enjoy, don't go to the same, what is my, my pet peeves, I'm sorry, one of my pet peeves about vacationing is people going to the usual spots that they would go to in their own city. McDonald's, Chile's, all that. No, I don't want to eat. You go to different I restaurants like to eat, um, and different, different things. Different cultures yeah. and stuff. Different cities have different, you know, textures of taste and you know, flavors that you should try that you wouldn't get back at home. So. That trip I am going with Danny. Her birthday, but for my sister's birthday, I'm not going with Danny. And he... He doesn't really care for it. And this is my question. When you're in a relationship with someone, do you always have to go on vacations with your significant other or is it okay to not to go alone? Like, in my opinion, I feel like every so often having a vacation without him is okay. He should do the same because it, it makes you miss him. And also you have to experience life on your own as well. Yeah, you're, you're, you're with your partner, but you're not glued to your partner. Um, do you guys go on vacation separately if you're married or in, in a serious relationship living with the person? Do you guys go separately on vacations? Are you okay with those going on a vacation on your own? Do you guys plan stuff separately? Like, you know, like if like Danny has a bunch of his brothers, he could plan something with his brothers and and go on a vacation without me. And I'll be I'll be okay with that. Um, I have my sister, so I try to go on a vacation with them on our own at least once a year you know i i, I like going on vacations no matter where i'm like down for it travel is a great thing i'm down for traveling even if it's to lake geneva i mm -hmm. want to go mm -hmm. are we leaving oh let's go kids no kids let's go i mean you got to live life and you don't have to be attached to your partner for everything you do in my opinion what is you guys opinion what do you think well i'm not married but i do believe in the separate vacationing you know from time to time you can go you know because you have to have your me time mm -hmm. you have to have separation but togetherness you mm -hmm. know you have to have your space but you that having your space doesn't mean that you're trying, trying to, to wild out or anything right or, or do go stuff and find sneaky, and you know do sneaky stuff or whatever it's just about, you know, sometimes you just want to vibe and have fun without the judgment or or that, you know, because sometimes when you're on vacation with your other, per, you know, your other person or um, they, one of you are not going to act the way that you want to act because, you know, if you're it's with certain upset, people, you're going to upset, it's going to upset your, your significant other. So, you know, sometimes it's not, you know, like with certain groups of people. Mm -hmm. Certain groups of people, you all will have fun and enjoy each other. Other groups of people, you want to, you know, act a certain way without feeling like, oh, this is what you do when you hang out with this person. <laughs> you know. Um, yeah, I, I agree. I'm, I'm totally for it. You know, I don't, I mean, there's always, it's not like you don't take vacations together, but you do want to have your vacations that are separate. Mm hmm Or I feel like you have a kid vacation. Yeah. Because you always got to throw in the kids. Mm. You always, at least once family a year, vacation. family vacation has to happen. I always feel like a bay vacation, a bay, you know, like you two together, somewhere um. romantic, alone. And then any, and then a single one. Not single. 
a solo, I should say solo, not single, yeah. um, vacation where you are with your girls. Like, what if it's just a girls' trip? You want to go and be with the girls. There's no reason for a, the husband to be there. Like, it's nothing but chicks. What are you doing? Being our security guard? It's not okay. And then you might get my So three at two. least. Three at least a year. If you want to push more, then live your life, babe. Live your life. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm going to live it. Well, I've got lots of people that be traveling all over the place. I'm trying to get like them. I want to get like them, too. I wish I had free... Uh, Mileage. Free <laughs> uh, or uh, someone that I knew for, with the hookup. Right. Like, can you hook it up? <laughs> I need somebody. <laughs> a, a stewardess. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Like, you want to be my family member? Can you put me on your family pass, please? <laughs> How much do I got to give you? Let me get the buddy pass. Buddy, buddy. Can I be your buddy? I want one more. Oh, now I'm stuck. Yeah. And I like my inners. I don't know. Do you like inners or outers? I like inners too, but I'm fine. But that you prefer inner? I do outer. I, I, do mean, I do outer too, but but what do you prefer? I like inner. I like inner too. I, I don't know. It's like they're smaller pieces, and people are like, why are you shorting yourself out? But I just like them. I don't know. I the just like the crust is too much. Yeah, like I don't like the crust. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. And I put some ranch on this one. Mm hmm. It's just good. We are left alone today. It's so quiet. That's it is the nice. Way that I like it. Yeah, because it's a Friday, so the loud people are not here. <laughs> <laughs> but it's great. My godmother just texted me. She knows I work here, um, and she goes, "Who do I email to complain about the fact?" That people are not wearing their mask on the train. Oh, the co-workers or <laughs> no, just people, passengers. Oh, 188. Yo, CT. <laughs> um, but you know, people don't wear it. I see people, a lot of people. Sometimes I forget my mask, and I'll be like, "Oh man!" But I, I go and look for one because I know I could get in trouble for it. But I'm tired of the mask. Like, when are we gonna be through with it? And then they're talking about a whole new variant. What is his name? It has Delta. to be a man. It's Delta. <laughs> I heard Delta Airlines was like, why did you name it that? <laughs> <laughs> there was supposed to be like a tweet that Corona said, welcome to the club. <laughs> <laughs> so. Corona sales did go down when that first happened. Delta sales might be going down. Tickets might be cheap. We <laughs> might be traveling out here. <laughs> Catch another flight. Not feelings. Oh, and I like to tell my PSA. I only fly southwest. That's from the, <laughs> she's from the south side, though. I ain't driving all the way to Midway. I'm bougie. I like my southwest. Mm -mm. My two bags fly free. You know, that's the only perk that you guys have over there. Is that. That you get to have bags. They fly out of O'Hare, too. Now. Oh, they are? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, because I'm not driving the Midway. I live 15 minutes away from O'Hare Airport. And I, you know what? I don't care about what anybody says. I mess with spirit. They're ghetto. You can't pack crazy with them. You will get charged. But I learned the tricks and trades on how to pack. I don't know how to pack. I'm taking three bags. I'm taking two suitcases. My backpack, my purse. That's what I'm taking. I have a little 18, and I made sure it was an 18 by 14. Duffel bag, Adidas, that's my baby. Spirit don't do nothing to me, Frontier, none of them. And I pack options, but I think you pack too many options. Hey, that's not a pack. I don't know how to well, pack. You know, that's why you pay for it. You, you fly out of Southwest. Because they get out my two bags, fly free. But aren't they And I don't want to go with spirit because guess what? Fly with spirit, you may end up being a spirit. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> I flew with spirit. <laughs> Baby, bye. I've, I've flown with spirit. Like The only thing I will say is anything under four hours. I've never done more than four hours on a flight with Spirit. I don't think I could because that, that would be torturous because, you know, they're really compact. So when you sleep, you're sleeping on somebody's shoulder. And I'm always on somebody's shoulder. If it's not Danny's, it's a stranger. 
and he let me sleep on a str- different topic, but he let me sleep on a stranger's uh, whole shoulder for like at least an hour, and I woke up like, oh, I'm sorry, sorry, but I fly spirit on a regular. A lot of people don't like it, but I feel like those are the quick flights in and out, and you're fine. Not no long one. But you got to pack the right way or else they will charge you. I'm not going to pack the right way. Oh, they will charge you. That's why I don't go nowhere that's going to charge me. Somebody got me. I had to pay like 80 bucks because they were hating, though. They were hating. I think they were hating. I was looking cute. (laughs) You know, I had a little dress on and my gym shoes, strolling my little bag, thinking I'm cute. And I passed a few, but my brother had the bag. And then when I grabbed the bag, I got stopped. Like, hold on. We're almost at the gate. You stopping me now? Rude. So, yeah. This was good, though. I will say Giordano's is way more expensive than regular pizzas. It is. It is very expensive. Um, but sometimes you get what you pay for. Yeah, quality over quantity. Mm-hmm. That goes for a real. lot of things. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say for real on that one. You always want quality, not quantity. <laughs> so, guys, please um, remember to subscribe, like, follow. Me this with wasn't follow. a saucy topic, but no. But okay. what do you guys do with yes. with traveling? Do you have you traveled in groups? Do you guys plan everything up front, budget everything, like? That would be cool, like, if you go in, like, a backpack thing to budget everything, like, hey, this is how much you're going to need, at least. But that would be somebody planning, like, very organized. Right. to the T. I'm not Um, that organized. And I'm frivolous because I'm on vacation. But you know how some people want to know their budget? Yes, they got Do you go on a budget? You're supposed to. Do you go on trips on a budget? I go winging it, like, I'm not going to spend more than this amount. Mm -hmm. I hope I don't spend that that amount. Like, if I come back with a little bit, like, yay, I budgeted well, but most of the time, no. Most of the time, no. No. If anything, I'm swiping the credit card. I also want to know, leave a comment of anything, of any places that we should visit while we're in New Orleans. Oh, yeah. Drop a comment for that. I know in Vegas, you could just do anything and everything. Um, but in New Orleans, we've never been. What should we do that would be like, or at least uh, a good eating for like breakfast lunch or dinner spot we should go to to try out what foods or just a snack shop yeah after the area some grenades some grenades Mm -hmm. Ooh, (laughs) Ooh, i need to get my liver ready water 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 (laughs) so yeah um drop your comments remember to hit the subscribe subscribe and like and we will Holler back. We will be coming back. You will be seeing my friend on Sunday. I will be doing a socks game <laughs> vlog. We are going to be drinking and pre-gaming and tailgating before the socks game. One of the supervisors has season tickets, and I don't know how many of us is it going to be, but it's going to be a lot of us. It's going to be fun. fun. I will be recording. Fun, fun. So, see you then. All right. Bye. Bye.